On a recent Florida trip, we took the adorable tiny houseboat that we were renting and made our way over to Delion Springs. If you haven't seen our tiny houseboat video, be sure to click in the upper corner right now because that was an awesome adventure. At Delion Springs, there are tons of fun things to do. You can rent canoes and kayaks, and you can even launch your own boats here as long as they're under 20 feet. You can also take the Eco History Boat Tour, which lasts about 50 minutes and it takes you 6,000 years back into the history of the springs. We didn't get a chance to take the tour on this last visit, but we would definitely love to get back there and learn about these springs. And speaking of the springs, here they are. These are the waters that the Mayaca Indians called Aquera, or the healing waters. We'll come back for a swim in just a little bit, but we want to check out the rest of the park, starting with the mill. This may not be the original, but it is a replica of the sugar mill that stood here in the 1830s. Nowadays, it's a restaurant, and there's even an option to cook your own pancakes on a griddle in the middle of your table. It sounds pretty fun. If you enjoy history, there is an absolute ton of it here that you can learn by reading the various kiosks around the area. You can also learn a lot about the history of the park by heading over to our website, thatadventurelife.com. After reading about a bunch of the park's history, we turned around and found ourselves at the Fountain of Youth. Unfortunately, it was dry at the time of our visit, so we didn't get any younger, but maybe just standing next to it helped a little bit. After that, we headed off to explore all of the lush green scenery that this park has to offer. And we also found this tree that was full of what we believe are cicadas. We aren't bug experts, so if that was not a cicada, please let us know what it was in the comments below. All of the twisty, moss-covered trees are beautiful to look at and walk around, and they also provide a great place to have a picnic if you bring one. If you stop by on a Tuesday, you can check out the plant sale, although that might be a little bit hard for us to fly back with. And you can also check out a lot of old machinery. Please note that if you are visiting by car, it is $6 to get in. But if you are coming in that way, you will have an opportunity to stop and take a picture with this photo up. During periods of high visitation, you can experience long lines to get into the park, and if it reaches capacity, it might even close. So you might want to get here early. The park is open from 8 a.m. to sunset seven days a week. With us being from the other side of the country, it might be a little bit difficult for us to throw a party here. But if all of your friends and family are with you here, you can always rent one of these really cool pavilions to hold your gatherings at. Just keep in mind that there is no alcohol allowed inside the park, so it's not going to be a wild party. And now we are on to one of the stars of the show, which is the springs. Please keep in mind that there is no lifeguard on duty here and the water depths can range anywhere from 3 to 30 feet. The water here is a constant 72 degrees and it feels amazing. And the other great thing about it is that if you are scared of swimming in Florida, there is no gators in it. There's also a platform that I could not help but throw a front flip off of before heading over towards the deeper area. V's swimming skills have come a long ways since we first met, but she still decided to hang near the stairs while I ventured out into deeper waters. If you're looking for a water adventure, you can also snorkel here and dive with an instructor. With fantastic swimming opportunities like this, we can definitely see why the park fills up fast, especially on hot and humid days. Believe it or not, the building next to the springs used to be a whole lot bigger. It was actually home to the hotel and casino. But this is back in 1925, and this is not the type of casino that you're probably thinking of. Back then, casinos could be a large room for events and dining. Nowadays, it's home to the Visitor Center, where you can see a lot of exhibits and learn even more about the history of the park. You can even see pictures of Sunshine Sally, which was a water skiing elephant back in the day. If you're looking for something a little more active to do, you can always set out on the wheelchair accessible half mile long nature trail. 
We wish that we could have spent more time at the park, but we had to get back to our houseboat so we could set up camp for the night. But you can bet that we'll be back next time we're in Florida. What are your favorite springs to visit? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up because it really helps us out. For all the information about De Leon Springs and other awesome things to do in Florida, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.